Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about all of my anticipated releases for October, November, and December. Um, so there are a few of them um, and I might do this again if some more pop up or whatever, but um, we're going to jump right into it. So the first one that I am very excited for, I've already got it pre-ordered and everything, is Cassandra Clare's new series, um, Sword Catcher. So I am super excited for this to come out. Granted, I'm excited to see kind of what else she can do other than in the Shadowhunter world. Granted, I love the Shadowhunter series, um, and I'm going to be sad once she finally finishes it, but I'm intrigued for a new world. See kind of how she is, uh, how she does in it. So, um, I'll read you a little bit of the excerpt here. Um, it says, in the vibrant city-state of Castellane, I probably butchered that, uh, the richest of nobles and the most debauched of criminals have one thing in common, the constant search for wealth, power, and the next hedonistic thrill. Kel is an orphan, stolen from the life he knew to become the sword catcher, the body double of a royal heir, Prince Connor Aurelian. He has been raised alongside the prince, trained in every aspect of combat and statecraft. He and Connor are close as brothers, but Kel knows he has one destiny to die for Connor. No other future is possible. Lynn Castor is one of the Ashkar, a small community who still possesses magical abilities. By law, they must live behind walls in the city, but Lynn, a physician, ventures out to tend to the sick and dying of Castellane. Despite her skills, she cannot heal her best friend, Miriam, without access to forbidden knowledge. After a failed assassination attempt brings Lynn and Kel together, they are drawn into the web of the mysterious Rag Picker King, the criminal ruler of Castellane's underworld. He offers them each what they want most, but as they descend into his world of intrigue and shadow, they discover a conspiracy of corruption that reaches from the darkest gutters of Castellane to the highest tower of its palaces. As long kept secrets begin to unravel, they must ask themselves, is knowledge worth the price of betrayal? Can forbidden love bring down a kingdom? And will Lynn and Kel's discoveries plunge their nation into war and the world into chaos? So that sounds great. Uh, I'm excited for the world. I'm excited for some new characters. So very excited to see um, what Cassandra Clare has next. The next anticipated release um, is that's coming out in October is The Hurricane Wars by Thea Gunson. I apologize if I butchered that. Um, this sounds great. I, I love fantasy. I love all realms of fantasy, but I am a sucker for fantasy romance. I just can't get enough of it. Um, so here's a little bit about The Hurricane Wars. The heart is a battlefield. And I apologize in advance, I'm probably gonna butcher these names, but you know, it is what it is. All Taliesin has ever known is the Hurricane Wars. Growing up an orphan and a nation under siege by the ruthless Knight Emperor, Taliesin has found her family among the soldiers who fight for freedom. But she is hiding a deadly secret. Light magic courses through her veins, a blazing power believed to have been wiped out years ago that can cut through the Knight Empire's shadows. Prince Alaric, the Emperor's only son and heir, has been forged into a weapon by his father. Tasked with obliterating any threats to the Night Empire's rule with the strength of his armies and mighty shadow magic, Alaric has never been bested. That is, until he sees Taliesin burning brightly on the battlefield with the magic that killed his grandfather, turned his father into a monster, and ignited the Hurricane Wars. In a clash of light and dark, their powers merge and create a force that likes of which has never been seen. Taliesin and Alaric both know this war can only end with them, but a greater threat is coming, and the strange new magic they can create together could be the only way to overcome it. Thrust into an uneasy alliance, they will confront the secrets at the heart of the war and find, in each other, a searing passion, 
one that could save their world or destroy it. An exquisite fantasy brimming with unforgettable characters, sizzling Emily enemies to lovers romance, and richly drawn worlds, the Hurricane Wars mark the breathtaking debut of an extraordinary new writer. I mean, that sounds great. Like, super, super great. Um, so I'm very excited for that. I mean, again, fantasy, romance, you got me there. I am a sucker for that. Um, the next one that's coming out in October is the third book in the Flesh and Fire series by Jennifer L. Armitrot. Now, I haven't read any of the Flesh and Fire series. I have the first book. I haven't bought the second one yet. Um, and I need, I need to read it. I just haven't got to it yet. Um, but I mean, I love her, um, Blood and Ashes series. So it's like, I'm going to love this. Um, I don't want to read the excerpt just because like it'll give it away. And I know what the first book's about. I don't remember <laughs> to be quite honest. But I know like a premise of it. It like takes place way before Castian. Um, so like I need I need to read that. But um, fire, fire and flesh. A fire in the flesh. Yeah, I, I need to read that one uh, when it when it comes out. I need to just read the series. The next one that I'm excited for is Brandon Sanderson's Secret Project number four. Um, it has a release date of October 1st, but I don't know if that's actual like published date or if that's when his books at Dragon Seal are available and then it'll become published like from the publishers. Um, so I'm very excited to read that. Um, I think this one has more to do with the Cosmere, has like some direct ties, like not that Tress and Yumi and the Nightmare Painter didn't, um, as I know they're in the world of the Cosmere, but I think Secret Project 4, like you see other names, don't quote me on that, but I think that's the case. Okay, so some releases for November that I'm excited about. Um, Defiant by Brandon Sanderson. I have not read the Skyward series yet. As you can see, it's still on my shelf. Um, but I plan to read it. Um, I do want to get the last final book. Um, so I'm excited for that one to come out. Um, also right now projected to come out November 14th is the second book in the Sand Sea trilogy, uh, by Chelsea Abdullah. Um, it's called the Ashfire King. So the first book was the Stardust Thief, and that was just great. I loved it. I love the friendship in it. Um, I'm intrigued to see if, you know, a certain romance gets to be a little bit um, tighter knit. Um, but I'm super excited for this one to come out. Also, um, coming out in November is the next book from Rebecca Yaros um called Iron Flame. This is part of her fourth uh from the book Fourth Wing. And oh my god. I'm in the middle of reading Fourth Wing right now and let me just tell you I cannot stop. I just can't. Um so very excited for that to come out. That is already been pre-ordered so can't wait for that um i'm also excited for ally hazelwood's next romance book i just like her books i don't know why they're just 
they're great. I love them. So the next one coming out is called Check and Mate. Um, and this one is when Mallory reluctantly enters a charity chess event, she unexpectedly beats the handsome world champion Nolan Sawyer. Despite her antagonism towards chess for destroying her family, Mallory finds herself entering the professional chess world since her family desperately needs the prize money. As things heat up between Mallory and Noland, Mallory must balance her love of the game with the deep pain it has caused her family. So that just sounds great. Uh, just, you know, a little bit of turmoil in the family and somebody who loves chess, uh, but then also, you know, maybe a little love interest from Nolan, maybe. So those are all the releases I have for um, October and November. Um, couldn't really find any available for December, so I will have to do another one for that. Um, but thank you all for watching. Please like um, and subscribe. And you can also comment, see if there's any new releases that you are all excited about that I might have missed. Um, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.